I'm Pam and Sunset, and today we're testing creepy crystal balls. What the what? Did you guys see the new opening? It's so cool. I made it. I made that. I thought I needed a little revamp on my intro. And what better month to debut it to you than my favorite month, Halloween? I saw this project on Pinterest like a year and a half ago and I didn't make it last Halloween because I was too busy to get all the supplies for it and I'm so excited to make this today. Today's inspiration is actually a blog called Flamingo Toes and this is what we're making. And this is what the final product should look like. Well, let's find out the real deal on this DIY. Ooh, I hope it works. I hope it works. For today's tutorial you need a glue gun, iridescent Christmas ornaments, inkjet transparency film, a candle, candlesticks, black spray paint, and I'm adding gloves. Now, just a quick warning here, if you are not older than 13, you definitely need help for this very first step because it involves a flame. Ooh, spooky. So the first step that you do is light this candle, and then you take off this top part, and then this is where I'm adding the step of putting some gloves on because I don't feel like burning my pretty hands. So you hold the opening of this right over the top of the flame and let it get smoky. Oh, cool. Ooh, this is fun. Again, not for children. It's getting hot, I can feel it through the glove. So I'm just gonna, oh, take a little break for a second. And I'm gonna start my second one because I'm making two of these. Rippy! That looks cool. I wish I could just have the smoke going all the time. I don't know if my Pam Pam can tell how the coolest looks, but it's really cool. Let's do the first one again for a little. I'm really surprised my fire alarm hasn't gone off. All right, these look sufficiently smoky, I think. While I let these cool, I'm going to <laughs> go outside and spray paint my candlestick holders black. Oh, jeez, I made a mistake. Our ornaments have pulled off, our candlesticks are drying, and while that, while I was waiting for that to happen, I picked which little clip arts I wanted. Ooh, creepy! So Flamingo Toes has some on her website that you can use, that's where I got these. But you could also just go and find any kind of creepy clip art that you wanted. You could even incorporate yourself somehow if you wanted, and just you need to make it into the shape of little ornament, this little thing on the bottom. So the next step that she did is to insert this into the globe. And the way she did this is she rolled it up like a ship in a bottle. And then I think the notch part has to be on the top, so you have to do the unnotch part in first, I think. Let's ski it. Oh! <laughs> There's a little bat in there. Cool. So before I do the second globe, I'm gonna heat up my glue gun. I let that heat up. While I roll up my little skull. Notch part up top. Stick it in. <laughs> Look at it. There's a skull in there. So now just so that the transparency doesn't move around, you add like a tiny bead of hot glue. And I'll let that dry. Do the second one. I'm gonna let those dry for a few minutes and I'm gonna go grab my candlesticks that are outside. Five minutes later, candlesticks looking good. Now the next step is to glue the globes into the candlesticks. They're already looking pretty spectacular. So I'm gonna put... I don't think that this last step is mandatory, but it's probably smart, especially if you have pets or children or fiancés who like to touch things. <laughs> Yeah, like, oh, ho, ho, it's pretty spooktacular. And once this dries, you're done. Ooh, I can see the future. And guess what? 
it's spooky. Here's the real deal on this DIY. Tip number one, I would definitely wear the gloves. These ornaments got hot really fast and it helped me be able to hold on to it longer so it went faster and I also wasn't afraid to really get into the smoke so it added that smoky effect a lot more I think because I had the gloves on. Tip number two, when you're putting the transparency paper in, it really is important to put the little tab in on the top and the part that's going into the globe not have the tab because it helps it stand up better. Tip number three, I think that you should actually cut that tab like a little bit smaller than I did because for my bat one, it's kind of falling over because it's not sitting right exactly in the globe. Overall, I think this is worth it. This is a super fun Halloween decoration that if you added, especially if you added some spider webs or maybe some lights behind it, it could be really, really spooky, but really cool. It's October, my favorite month. So expect lots more Halloween DIY recipes, life hacks coming your way. If you have anything you want me to test out, leave a comment down below. And make sure you follow me on social media, Pam on Sunset on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, which I hardly ever use anymore, but still there. <laughs> so you can see all of these Halloween fun all month long. And if you haven't yet, hit that red subscribe button to join the Pam Pam. We're pretty freaking awesome, so you better join us. I have some Halloween decorating that I have to go do, and I'm really, really excited about it. So, uh, find me on Instagram if you want more of me, because I know you do, because I'm really cool. Okay, bye. <laughs>